Can't wait to get the last week. Last week was peak week. Ask my dad. He's my toughest critic outside myself. He'll tell you that last week went beautifully. And uh, here we are, fight week. What, what, I told uh, my coach before we left, I told Coach Wade, if you're not happy, it's not my fault. So I feel good right now. How is it changing? How is it with your training? Is it, does that get kind of sensitive or kind of touchy at times? We're in a beautiful place right now, man. We are. Uh, my, my dad and myself is kind of starts with us, but then it trickles down to everyone else in the family, you know, but him and I are beautiful and the rest of the family beautiful too. How do you like your um, change in uh, scenery up in Washington? Uh, yeah, D.C. D.C. was great. D.C. was, there, there's not, not enough I could say about D.C. That was my first camp with the Headbangers and I've, I've known those guys since I was nine years old, ten years old, and I, I told Lamont before I left, I said, I still look up to you, man. I said, I started looking up to you when I was ten years old. I said, it is what it is, man. I'm always going to be ten when I watch you, when I look at you, and, and, and my, my admiration for you will always be just like that. And to get in the ring with him and spar with him was, was, was special. Uh, he was definitely coaching me along the way. And I told him when it was all said and done, I said, man, I hope I helped you as much as you helped me, you know? So top to bottom, man, DC was great. And uh, I think we're gonna, we're, we're gonna definitely spend some more weeks down there from time to time. Was it was it something that when you were training in Vegas, were you kind of feeling a little stale? No, we, you believe me, we, we actually uh, closed our training facility last year after my last fight. Mm -hmm. My dad is feeling like we're spending too much money to be in the training facility for a short period of time, fighting just once, yeah. maybe twice a year. And so we shut it down and uh, we got, we called Barry to come come in, and Barry said, hey boy, y'all need to just come on down here. Everything is down here for you. I got everything you need. And he did not lie about that at all. From the sparring to the recovery, uh, I even found places to get my yoga in, swimming, the whole nine. It was great. Was it like a little holiday for you? I swear to God, that's what I said. I said, yo, <laughs> I said, yo this is like Christmas to me because here it's just me and then we bring in different guys from time to time but when you go out there they got probably the youngest guys training with them at 10 o'clock in the morning like 14 and then obviously the Petersons being the oldest and so if you can imagine there's about 15 to 20 of us in the gym that alone was enough to get me giddy and excited every day but to see the way the 14 year old literally was working as if he was in a position to get a world championship like Lamont Peterson, very special. So they have something special down there at the Headbangers gym, as well as just, you know, champions. There's something special going on around there. And um, we didn't know, but we got a good taste of it. And we'll be back for more. Honestly, with this one, this one is, you gonna have to wait and find out because I'm gonna have to wait and find out. Uh, we've, we've worked on a lot of different things for me personally. Uh, we've worked obviously to get ready for Ugas, but things like power, I think it's really gonna come into play. We've been able to refocus on the power a lot like we did um, some years back. We, we haven't been able to really focus on power for a few years now. So that to me is something that might be new in this one. If this is a first or second round knockout, you know why. It's because I've been working on it. It ain't because your dentist can't take a punch. It's because Sean Ford has been working. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've seen a lot of his fights, and I even wanted to go back to his amateur days. So I saw I saw some of that as well. And I, I just know what he can bring. I know what he can bring to the ring. So I'm what concerns you most about? What concerns you most about him on Saturday? Concerns me most about your dentist is... Uh, he throws punches like a Cuban fighter. Um, and to break it down really quickly, if you go watch any Cuban fighter, you'll see when they when they turn their punches, their punches turn a little different than most fighters you see. So that's that's the number one thing. That's the number one thing I'm I am um, you know have trained my mind to be prepared for, trained my eyes to be prepared for the way those those punches are going to be delivered. The weird angles, weird angles, yeah. different angles. Yeah, and they're, they're going to come different and and, and finish different. Like it's going to look like that, but hurt. Yeah, it's going to come different and different. When you were how first you world champion, uh, how, do you, how do you feel about fighting on Fox and everything, national television? And are you ready to get some new fans and everything? With, I'm uh, looking forward to it, man. This is uh, going. I mean, I've been at studios a, a lot, and it's all football around there, right. which is cool because I love football. So, to me, in my mind, now in sports, in my mind, we're second to football. And uh, that's not that's not bad to me at all. That's not bad to me at all. So I'm looking forward to it. 
I know there's going to be some new people out there watching, tuning in because they heard about it. Uh, heard about me, maybe heard about your dentist, uh, just heard about PBC being on Fox. I'm looking forward to all of that. I know I'm ready for it. Browns or Bengals fans? <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> you should know that one, man. Yeah, okay. When you were the IBF for a champion, then you defended it against Kell Brook. Compared to now, uh, how do you plan on taking advantage of, of your first title defense of the WBC World Title? You know what? I'm more ready for it. I've, uh, I've matured mentally in the ring and I know that I'm ready for this opportunity now to defend my belt. I'm not saying that I didn't understand it back then, I'm not saying that I took it for granted. I just know that now I'm ready to really defend this belt and I got everything that, that it takes to defend it, not just once, but multiple times. I mean, that's the old saying is there's levels to boxing. Mm -hmm. you, you fought at those levels. Do you think who gets to I don't think he's fought at those levels as a professional. Uh, in order to not underestimate him, you have to understand that he fought at that level as an amateur. But he fought at that level as an amateur consistently for a number of years. And I think that one way or another, it's trained him to be ready for this, cop this kind of uh, environment, this kind of uh, opportunity. What's the big difference between that amateur experience and pro experience? Um, it's quicker. And the amateurs is quicker. Uh, the rounds are quicker. Um, preparation for the for the fight is, is is quicker. There's a lot of things that go into it that make it you know different. Uh, I think obviously uh, without there being a headgear, smaller gloves. I think that that's another difference. I think that he hasn't really been hit with anyone the way I've hit him. I think that that's uh, definitely going to uh, pay toes in this fight. Yo.